The documentary Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares, The Robert England Story, takes an intimate look at the actor who brought one of the most iconic horror villains of all time to the big screen. There's Freddy, there's Jason, there's Pinhead, there's Chucky. But then there are iconic horror actors. I ran into these guys from cult screenings and I'd been approached several times for by different people, especially in this this sort of new world we live, you know, with blogospheres and everything to, to do something. And almost instantly, uh, Gary Smart and Chris Rithams and I hit it off because they're sort of like walking IMBD guys. They're film fans, they're fanboys like me. I never set out to become a horror icon. Something I wasn't planning, it's just something that happened. Like most actors, you don't realize that this is gonna be a life-changing moment. I would like be, you know, fighting for the name of an actor that I loved, and I would go, uh, 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 and they would go, Strother Martin or Warren Oates, and it was great having them there to sort of finish my sentences for me, because even though they're younger than I am, they like a lot of the same films as I do. I knew we had a kind of simpatico going. COVID hit during all of this, so I think they had more time to do uh, their their R and D. You know, while we were all sitting around with our masks on, I just felt really comfortable with Gary and Chris. If the guy behind the makeup isn't selling it right, then it doesn't work. Can't have any style of film without having a charismatic person at the helm. He brought so much into Freddy, the way he built Freddy. Robert still managed to make him not just horrific, but likable. It took the release of Scream for everybody to get uh, Wes Craven's new nightmare. And then it became huge on DVD. People understood that we were making it and talking to the fans, you know, about them. And we were, you know, kind of teasing ourselves. And and, and a lot of that stuff was true, but exaggerated. I think uh, Heather at Langenkamp did have a stalker, you know, and of course with that, we made it Freddy. Wes Craven wrestling a bit with his huge success at that time and the fact that he'd exploited evil, you know, and what if, the evil he exploited came back to haunt us all. He's one of those film actors who understands film. Robert as a fellow actor is a dream. He's Shakespearean. Robert Englund is a great actor. It's as plain as that. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.